Hello everyone, my name is Peng Liang Zhao, and this is EEL 6825 Pattern Recognition Project Presentation. And uh, here <coughs> my topic is Design and Simulation of the Face Recognition. Firstly, I want to talk about problems, the problems in the project. Face recognition is, well, is now well important for security, telecom telecommunication, digital libraries, video meeting, and human computer intelligence, and also machine learning. Face recognition is a technology that uses computers to analyze images and identify or recognize status of the image. And also, it is a research area in the pattern recognition, which is a key technology in the modern world. There are three major processes in the face recognition, image processing, feature extension, and image recognition. In this project, I want to solve, the, solve the, some basic problems and also talk, talk about the accuracy and the running time of the face recognition program. The first problem is how can we detect the how can we detect a face in an image? And I will design, I will make use a MATLAB code to detect to detect the face in an image. Secondly, what are, what can other methods be used in in face recognition? And what is the accuracy, the face recognition rate, and the running time of the program? So there will be two different MATLAB, MATLAB code in this project. A solution to the problems. To solve the problem given above, here design two MATLAB code to simulate face recognition. The first code is just a simple program which could mark, mark a face in an image by using, using a right rectangular to highlight the human face in the image. The second MATLAB code is programmed using both PCA and LDA. Here, I want to talk PCA and LDA in more details. PCA, which is short for Principal Component Analysis, is a mathematical procedure that uses, that uses an organelle in trans transformation to convert a set of observations of possible correlated variables into a set of values of linear uncorrelate variables called principal components. The number of principal components is less than or equal to the number of the original variables. PCA is widely used in face recognition and machine learning. Second, I want to talk about LDA. LDA is linear discriminant analysis and the related features linear discriminant Discriminant, discriminant are methods used in statistics, pattern recognition, and machine learning to find a linear combination of features which, which could separate two or more classes of objectives or events. The resulting combination may be used as a linear classifier or more commonly for reduction before later classification. Before later, before later classification. And how PCA and LDA works in the program. The first step is PCA, PCA could help me to project the high dimensional data onto a lower dimensional feature subspace. And then the LDA could help me to get the feature face from the lower dimensional feature subspace. After these two key, after this two key process, I can calculate the, the accuracy rate of the face recognition and the running time of the program. Now we can we can go to see the MATLAB code. Here is the MATLAB code one. As I mentioned about this MATLAB code is just to a simple way to detect to face in an image. And there are three major steps. The first step is read an eRGB image. In this step, an RGB image will be read. And then 
change the image to a grayscale image. Finally, change the image to a grayscale image using the three hold. And uh, this part is the first step. The second step is to minimize the background, the background of the image. Because of the image does not only contain a human face, background is a thing that we need to think about. The background may affect the detection of the face, so we need to minimize the background portion. After this, we also will display the image after minimize the background. Here, this part we could say is the step 2 in the code. The third step is to tag the face object. In this step, we come to the important step, mix the face in the image, mark the face in the image. Here, we use a square to highlight the human face in a right rectangular in the image. And then, we could finally get image highlighted, highlighted the human face. Here is the result of the program 1 and it's also the performance evaluation of program 1. This is original image. We can say it is an RGB colorful image with a boy's face. And this, uh, this, this image is a grayscale image. This image is a grayscale three-hole image. The third image is image after minimizing background. We can see it here. The last image is the face, is the image with face detected. And we can see there is a red rectangular mark the face in the image. And now we come to talk about the MATLAB code using PCA and LDA. Here I want to say that in this second code, an image database is used. This image database is a face, data, face image database and it is downloaded from AT&T Laboratory Cambridge in Cambridge University. And this face database is always used in, in face recognition. Now, how PCA and LDA works in the program. Firstly, we use PCA to project high dimensional data onto a low dimensional feature subspace and then use LDA to get the feature face from the lower dimensional feature subspace. And then we can calculate the accuracy or the face recognition rate of the program and also get the running time of the program. In addition, the program could display the optimal projection dimension, which is very important in LDA. So, to finish this program, I, def I have defined a lot of functions which can be deployed in the main MATLAB code. This is the PCA function. In this function, we can in this function, we, we can use PCA to project the high dimensional data onto a low dimensional feature subspace. And the second defined function is computer is compute SW and SB. SW and SB is one very important concepts in LDA. SB is the between classes disparate sample matrix. SW is the within classes disparate matrix. And this function could you could be used to get the feature face from the lower dimensional feature subspace, which is is that exactly what the LDA is doing here? The third function is read sample function. This function could read the sample sample training or testing samples from the face database. Here is the compute accuracy. Of the first two steps, we can compute the accuracy of the program, which is the face recognition rate. And this could tell us how LDA and the PCA works in the face recognition. And this is the project 2 function. This function could be used to compute the optimal projection vector of SW and SB. 
Here is the main MATLAB code. In this code, there are some key steps. Firstly, PCA is used to project the high dimensional data onto a lower dimensional feature subspace. And then using LDA to get feature phase from the lower dimensional feature subspace. And then the program will compute the accuracy of the program, which is a phase recognition rate. Finally, the program will display all the following the following parameters like the number of training samples in each category, optimal projection dimension, recognition rate, the accuracy, and the running time of the program. Here we can see the performance evaluation of program 2. This is the original display of the program. And now we can see it much more clearly in this table. Firstly, we come to see the number of training samples in each category, which is from 3 to 8, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we can see with increase of the number of training samples in each category, the face recognition rate, which is accuracy, is also increased, which could tell us that with more training samples in each category, there will be a much more, much more higher uh, there will be a much more higher accuracy. But we come to see the running time. With the increase of the numbers uh, in, in numbers of training sample in each category, the running time is also extended, which may tell us that the efficiency of the program may job may job. So when we ca come to the up optimal project dimension, we can say that this is not linear with the number of training samples in each category. Here is the conclusions. In this project, to sum up, from the results shown above, we finally gave the conclusion. The bigger the number of the training samples in each category, the higher the face recognition rate. But the optimal projection dimension is not changing in linear with increase or decrease of the numbers of training sample in each category. And also, the running time is much more longer than increase of the num number in each category. PCA and LDA could be, be a good method in the face recognition, but it still has its pros and cons. So, when, the re when in the real application field, we're using PCA and LDA in face recognition, the number of training samples in each category should be chosen carefully in order to have a better face recognition rate and a better efficiency. Here is some related works which has been discussed in the project report. This is a 2D PCA, PCA plus 2D PCA, and a 2 and a 2 square PCA. The 2D PCA is an algorithm called two-dimensional principle component analysis. 2D PCA could give us some simple and easy feature of images. Also, the overall face recognition rate is higher than PCA. In addition, the 2D PCA runs faster than the PCA. The 2D square PCA is a new way to process the, in the face recognition. It is a 2D PCA plus calculating in both rows and the column. This could give much faster recognition, and the face recognition rate is also increasing. 2D square PCA could calculate less coefficients than the PCA and 2D PCA. Thank you for watching this PPT, and now we're going to run the MATLAB code. This is MATLAB code 1 which could detect the face in my image. We can run it right now. Here are the output of the program. We can say this, this figure 1 is image in the grid scale 3 hold, and this is the figure, figure 2, which is minimized the background. And this is the final image. We can see a red rectangular has highlighted the, the human face in the image.
And this is the main MATLAB code. As we can see, this code is the works from training sample sizes from 3 to 8, and it using PCA to project low, higher dimensional data into a lower dimensional space subspace, and using LDA to get the feature phase from the lower dimensional feature subspace, and then the program will calculate the accuracy of the program, the face recognition rate, and also display the running time of the program. We can run it right now. Now we can see the end of the program and the output of the program. Here, in different conditions, the running time of the program may change. But we can say it is still match the conclusions from the project report when the category of in when the training sample in each category increases, the accuracy of the program also increases, but the running time is dropped. Thank you for listening my presentation in EEL 6825 pattern recognition. Thank you very much.